So today I'm playing with a laser cutter or a laser engraver, which basically uses a laser, um, usually usually a gas laser um, and big laser cutters. But in this case, it's using a laser diode with which is extremely focused using lenses, and it's able to cut things by concentrating light and basically heating something up to the point where it just it vaporizes, right? And that's just cutting it or engraving something. So. I'm interested in this because for my project, since it's based on cancer research, in cancer research, one thing they don't really have is a way to separate cancer cells from normal cells, from fat cells, from blood cells, from lymphocytes, from every other cell type. They have no way to separate these cells. They just kind of throw them all in one heap when they're gene sequencing. They, they test every single cell type. They don't test just a tumor cell, um, which is important because they, you don't want all that other data. So what this could do, potentially, if attached to my machine, is cut out the tumor cells based on kind of like a map or a, um, uh, a path for the laser to follow. And the laser will basically follow that path and end up cutting out all the tumor cells, which the scientists, cancer researchers, can then take and put in a gene sequencer and get very accurate results as opposed to the current method. So I was playing with it. Um, for, first test I obviously wanted to test was whether or not I could cut something similar to human skin because that or by, or cells basically. So I tested an onion skin, which it actually cut an onion skin pretty well. Um, this I cut a little a bunny face. Uh, <laughs> it came it came by default with the laser engraver, so thought it'd be cool. Um, it, it actually looks pretty cool, pretty high quality. Um, if I were to do it on something that's actually stable because when the laser is a different distance away so since the surface is uneven if the laser is for example on one part versus another it'll be a different size the laser spot the spot size so the laser size that you can actually see right there um, right there um, it would actually be a different size because of the focal length and the way a laser works. So the way a laser works is it's basically a two crisscross lines kind of. So it's a line coming down like that and a line coming down like that. And at that point where those two lines intersect, that is where the most focused light is. That's, what, that's where the most focused light is. So that's the most optimal condition for cutting. So I also... I also tried this on paper because it's flat surface, um, or almost flat, and it actually had better resolution, better cut quality, but uh, I forgot to turn down the power, and this happened. <laughs> it kind of just, I, I, don't, I don't even know, it just cut all the way through in some places, some places it engraved. Uh, I was trying to cut a cool star pattern, but it might have been a little bit complex for this cutter or engraver, um, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> My test worked. I can successfully cut tissue, um, in theory, if you're calling onion skin tissue, um, but I can successfully cut tissue, so that I could easily integrate this onto my machine using mounting the laser diagonally with a 10x lens looking down right here, so they both intersect at the same point, and at that point, I would be, that's where I would cut, right, and I could actually watch the laser and see exactly where it's cutting on the um, cell. So that gives me, or not on the cell, on the uh, slide, sorry. And that gives me a very accurate, that can, I can give, I can get very accurate feedback of um, what's, what it's cutting and I can move based on that.